We're the only race in this world that will have to prove who we are by carrying a status card. Maxwell Johnson addressing members of the Vancouver Police Board, Police Department, and other Heltic First Nation members at an uplifting ceremony in Bella Bella, B.C., held three years after two VPD officers handcuffed Johnson and his teenage granddaughter in front of a bank in downtown Vancouver. Every time we go into a major store, we're getting looked at differently because we're native. We're First Nations people. In December 2019, Johnson and his then 12-year-old granddaughter were trying to open a bank account at a BMO in downtown Vancouver. Staff called 911 after suspecting Johnson was using a fake status card. So he yeah, said, so if I was a white person, that would have happened me. I probably wouldn't be taken out in the street and handcuffed with my granddaughter. We will be uplifting Max and his family tonight. Monday's event in Bella Bella was supposed to be an apology ceremony. Instead, the Heltic Nation says VPD Constables Cannon Wong and Mitchell Tong didn't go to the event. Chief Councillor Marilyn Slett saying there was no reason given. Um, it could have been, you know, a, a real positive step, you know, in terms of, you know, reconciliation on, on this incident. We... Uh, have in our customs that other people cannot stand in or represent others in a ceremony like this. In a statement to City News, Vancouver Police Board spokesperson Faye Whiteman says the board is the respondent in the human rights case, not the individual officers, and other board members and VPD officers were present to show their commitment. With the two officers absent, the event instead became an uplifting ceremony. We can't go full circle with our healing now because they chose not to show up. Establishing and maintaining open and trusting relationships with Indigenous communities, I can tell you, is a priority for our board. The board does apologize for the lasting pain and trauma that Mr. Johnson, Tori Ann, and their loved ones, and this community has experienced as a result of this incident. In a later statement, Slet says for the Vancouver Police Board to say that their presence here today is enough to reconcile what happened to Max and his granddaughter is profoundly short-sighted. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.